Hello everyone, hope you're well, welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm just going to quickly show you my process of cleaning up grey backgrounds or any background for that matter which is of the same colour, getting rid of the creases, getting rid of all the little marks and just smoothing out the background and just making it look a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to go through the process and I'm also going to include um, instructions on how you actually create an action so you can make this very very quick. So we'll start with this image over here. The first thing I always do is I make a copy of the background and then I will go to select color range and at this point what I want to be doing is I want to be picking the background color like so and you can see I've just clicked here and it's picked up the background but we've still got areas of black and dark gray Anything that is white means it's fully selected. Anything which is obviously black and middle gray means the selection isn't right. So I first click on an area that is the gray on the background. Then I click the plus dropper, uh, which is like an eyedropper, but I click the plus, which means every time I click on the areas which are still not white, it will add this to the selection. You can see these areas are getting whiter and whiter and whiter. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but the better you do this stage, the better you get in the selection, the better it's going to be overall. So I've just selected all that. You'll see all this has gone white. And don't worry right now that we've also got some areas of white on the hair and the face. And also on this board here, we will clean that up afterwards. So once I've made that selection, I'll click OK. And you'll see the areas that have been uh, selected right now. Now I could use a uh, selection tool here and deselect all the areas that I don't want to be uh, affected, but I'm not going to bother. I will do that later because it's a lot quicker doing it this way. The next thing we want to do is we want to basically blur this background and average out all the values, all the values of dark and medium and light. We want to smooth those out. So we'll go to filter, blur, and we'll select average. Now what average will do is it will look at the colors that we've selected and it will pick the average value of hue which it believes is the right one for the selection. So I'll click on average and what it's done there is it's just painted or in other words it's kind of blurred this whole area but at the same time it's added the average color for the area which is the gray that we that we want. So I'll just do a control D to deselect and I'll just turn this layer on and off and you can see what's happening here you can see I'll just zoom in a little bit you can see it's smoothed these areas out but we've messed up areas of the hair and it's kind of smoothed this area out which we don't really want and it's flattened everything out but we've lost a bit of texture in the background it's starting to look very flat so the process is dead easy we reduce the opacity of this layer to 60% which makes a huge difference. We still get a little bit of texture coming through, but it's a lot smoother and a lot cleaner. Then we add a mask to this layer, and then using our brush tool, we wanna to get a black brush, and we wanna set that to 100% opacity, and then we just make sure we paint over the model's face, over her hands, and we'll just clean up this area here, which I wanna actually keep the original gray and I'll just come up here because it's a soft brush and we, I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet here I'm using a Wacom tablet I can very quickly do this and get a really nice finish so I'll just show you the actual mask itself this is what we've done with the mask and we'll turn this on and off and you'll see up here around near the hair we've still got a nice finish okay and it's really is as simple as that now that process might seem like it took a long time but I'm actually going to go through how we make this into an action so just for now I will hide this guy down here and we'll start on this image which needs to be also fixed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my um, my actions. I've already made this action previously but I'm just going to delete it and I'll go through the process again. So I'm going to start with a new action. 
uh, new and I'm going to call it gray clean. So the first thing I did is I made a copy. So control J, you'll see that layer via copy. Then we did the select color range and the previous color range that we selected is still there. Okay. Then we did a filter blur average. And then I deselect, reduce the opacity of this layer to 60%, add a mask on the layer, and then obviously I would paint that out, um, but I would do that individually for each picture. So we'll so right about there, where we've made the mask, which is where we stop the action, so I'll stop the action. So now it's, it's ready to go, okay? So I'll just delete that altogether. Our action is now ready. I'm gonna go into button mode which means all I have to do is click on gray clean and it's all ready. And all I have to do now is with my brush, just simply paint here, a little bit on the hands, make sure we don't get any skin, make sure we hit the face, just round near close to the hair and that is done, okay? That's how quick it can be. And then I would save that out. I'm just going to open up another picture just so you can see the process once more. I'll just grab um, which photograph. You can see we've got quite a few pictures in this set. Okay, I'll just take this one. This is a full length. Grey clean. Paint it out. Done. That's it. That is literally all I have to do. And if I want... I can just do that to all the images in the set. Again, we can see the before and the after. It's made a huge difference and it's cleaned it up. I'll do it one more time. Okay, so let's do it one more time. What I will do with this one first though is before I apply the action, I'm just gonna get rid of that little area there using the content aware fill and then gray clean done, brush, paint out the area that I want to retain. I'll do a little bit on the face with a nice soft brush, a little bit on the hands. That's it. Finished. On, off. Absolutely simple. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you want to make your own action, just follow through the steps. I could give you my action. The difference being my color selection or my color range will be very different compared to what you've got in your image. But just know this can work for absolutely any image with any kind of background color. You just select the color range and then you'd go through the same process. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.